What is up everyone? Yet another League of Legends commentary here for you guys. This time, I'm going to be casting a scrim between Team Orb and Team Solo Mid. I was able to just barely catch this one right as it began, so not going to miss anything at all. And hopefully it should be a really good game. TSM has been scrimming quite a bit today. They actually scrimmed M5 earlier. I, I watched part of it and then kind of got wrecked. But they did make some early on mistakes where they lost like three people because they came out of the bush. But anyways, that is another game. And this one is, this one is now. So, <laughs> so here we go. We are going to see a little bit of grouping up here in this lane over on the bottom area. I don't think we're going to see an engage now the odd one has really strong I, I've always said that Nocturne is an amazing an amazing like level one uh, fighter because he can go in there with his passive and boom hit everyone plus his Q does a lot of extra damage so so uh, so yeah if you have Nocturne for an invade uh, he is actually really strong so it looks like they might actually do something here of course they do need to be careful they've got an Alistar who can knock them up and Shin who potentially could taunt them as well so I don't know if he's actually um, Let's see, what did he level up? He didn't level up anything. He's waiting, and that's smart. And, that, and that's one thing that you do need to notice. If you guys are uh, newer at this game, some people that watch these may be, some may not be, but one good thing to do before you start the game on certain champions is wait to take your level 1 ability until you know if there's going to be an engage happening or not. And that's because you can... Um, you can, for example, like... Uh, let's just say Israel, for example. If you're going to have like a level 1 fight and you accidentally get caught in a bad position, you can take your E and push Control E to level up E fast and then jump over a wall. Normally you wouldn't take your E first, you would, everyone's used to just taking Q. In this case it was fine, but um, I don't know, that's just one example. There's a lot of other champions that way, like for example like Scion, if you take Scion mid as your first champion, then you can, um, usually you want to take your shield first for the laning phase, but you can take your stun first if you're about to go in, in, uh, and invade. But I don't actually level up this stun unless I see an invade happen. It looks like an exhaust, or sorry, an ignite already happened, and Dyrus doing work, really trying to put Nubby Pooh Bear out of the lane at level one as soon as possible. He wants to shut that down, and he wants to get as much lane control as possible. Now that's, I probably uh, don't see that uh, ignite being super really strong for him, but I guess that he knows he might not get a kill uh, uh, very early on, so he's just using that ignite as a uh, uh, as early as possible, so that the cooldown will be back up whenever he sees the opportunity. Now, another thing to keep note of is that we do have Alistar coming in here. So this could be ooh, really dangerous for Dyrus. He is going to run right into the Alistar. Now, luckily, Nubby Pooh Bear is not there. And actually, Dyrus is going to have to probably flash out of this. No, he's not. So it uh, looks like he wasn't actually able to get there uh, to do some work. But that did actually give Nubby Pooh Bear a little bit of an advantage. And by advantage, I mean it helped him a little bit. Um, he did lose some health and he had to use those health potions, but he is going to be fine. Uh, now it looks like the odd one going to come up here and just <laughs> steal a creep from the odd one and uh, shove in that lane a little. I'm not sure uh, the exact intent of that other than just kind of trolling Dyrus. But anyways, let's look at this bot lane real quick. It looked like Nian got... Yeah, okay. I was like, what are they doing? They are, these guys are like almost shoving in at the turret. And so Keox looks like did a really good job. Uh, they hit level two and they just jumped right onto him trying to get that early kill. They almost got that first blood, but he was able to make it out. Probably a, a good a good slow from this guy here. Especially, actually, taking a lot of damage there. Probably wasn't expecting that coming in from Elimination, but he should be okay. He's got, uh, you know, he just uses one health potion that he had saved up. And Dyrus doing work here, still shoving this in as much as possible. 13 CS to his 10. So he's actually not forcing Nubby, Boo Bear, uh, Nubby Pooh Bear to lose too much CS. And now this could be really bad if Alistar is able to get in a combo onto Dyrus. No, he was not able to. He's not fast enough yet. He doesn't have those move speed 5 boots. But once he gets those move speed 5 boots as Jungle Alistar, that could be really dangerous for Dyrus. As uh, Dyrus, he really only has his flash for his escape there. Luckily, he has not had to use that just yet. And uh, another thing to be interested about here is the fact that Darius actually did not go top. I imagine he was planning on going top kill, but since there is a uh, since there is a Cassidy in the game, they swapped the lanes and instead put Reginald top. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. He can still use his ulti up there, but in the meantime, we've got a nice gank coming in here onto the bottom lane here. The odd one using his shield just in case he gets knocked up by hell. And either way, that was not a successful gank, but they did force them back a little bit there. They did have the Alistar to kind of counter that out a little bit. And Dyrus continues to shove the lane in really nicely here. Nobi Buer is almost out of mana. Once he runs out of mana, 
it's going to be really hard for him to actually uh, last hit. He's not going to be able to use his Qs to clean up any creeps that he misses and that sort of thing. And as far as Reginald, though, let's see, 24 to 25. So he's actually staying quite even there with the Shen. Not really going to get shut down. I don't see, well, at least I don't see him getting really shut down by Shen too hard. And we'll kind of keep our eye out for how that plays out as the game goes forward. Chaos on the butter lane is pulling ahead just slightly in front of Graves. Of course, a little bit too early to see if that's going to stick or not. Oh, and Nubby Pooh Bear could go down there. Looks like one last took of a night, and that's the first blood for him, even though Hal came in there to do some work. Is that high? Sorry, I've been calling him Hal. It's actually an I, my bad. So it's, his name is Orb Hi. So <laughs> anyway, even though High was there to do some work, it just wasn't enough to stop Dyrus from getting the kill. In effect, I think that Nubby Pooh Bear maybe was trying to bait that out and in hopes that he could have gotten a kill on Dyrus and just kind of overestimated his ability to do any work onto him. So uh, either way, good play there by Dyrus. Dyrus is just not afraid there. And actually high missing his knockup. Dyrus is going to shove him back a little bit and not be too worried about it. He's low mad here but he doesn't care he knows he just wants to shove out these creeps as fast as possible and force his lane to lose a little bit of cs of course he wasn't able to get it to the turret so it's not that big of a deal either way he got as much cs as possible he will get back to the lane before too long as cassadin can't really shove it that fast against him especially not being that far ahead and right now he's looking like he's going for philosopher stone so you know that he's like, well, I'm going to I'm gonna basically get shut down here as the game goes on once Dyer starts buying those items. So I've got to get some gold for five, and that's my best uh, chance for staying in this game as far as farm is concerned. And we'll, we'll see if that actually works out for him or not. It's going to come down to, now that he's level six, can he roam effectively and potentially pick up some kills onto the top or bottom lanes? And I think that's going to make a big difference as, as we see the game going on. Since, um, since otherwise, he would have probably switched with Shen potentially and gone top to fight against um, Reginald. But at the same time, while Karthus is, you know, or sorry, while Kassanen is pretty decent against Karthus, he's not like a complete direct counter to him to where he's just going to, you know, really shut him down. So even if he had done that, I don't see it being as strong as Kassanen just staying mid and having that opportunity to really roam around. The other uh, thing that we have to worry about here is now that the odd one is about to hit level six, if if they uh, if they start to let Nian push in, he can get some really nice ganks coming in here onto the bottom lane. They have a lot of kill potential, as far as that's concerned. Of course, you know while Lulu is maybe not, uh, you know, you know Lulu, she's like one of those champions. She can be kind of hit or miss. She's got a really amazing ultimate, and that's going to be the big part of her in this game right now. Now, the thing about her ultimate is that it's it's a lot better with AP scaling. So I, I like to see the, the AP or AP mid or top Lulus. She does okay as a support, but I mean, once you get AP scaling on her, she just has so much more support potential. Kind of like Orianna, where she can do a lot of damage, but she's also an amazing support champion when she's played as an AP mid. But uh, anyway, it's just an interesting thing to think about. Looks like the odd one gonna come in here, go for the ultimate onto Lemon, and can he get a kill? Doesn't look like it with the flash being used to get away. He was really scared of high there, as well as the fact that Graves was coming in. He would have been in a really bad position if he had actually gotten knocked up by Alistar at that position. And now Dara's gonna come in here to try and do some work. Now maybe getting caught out of position using his ultimate to avoid a little bit of damage and an ulti coming in from Ezreal not going to hit anything at all uh, he was attempting to kind of help out that fight but that fight never broke out and probably in the best favor of Nabu Pooh Bear because he is a little bit low HP right now Darius low mana at this point he wants to kind of uh, shove this lane out and probably go back soon let me see how much gold does he have He's actually sitting right now at 527. Can't, uh, I guess can't really buy that much. He can probably go ahead and get his Berserker Grief soon, and he's going to be going for that. He's got a lot of life still, so he's been able to kind of keep himself healed up from any kind of poke harass that, that Cassidy is able to do. And right now, this is the good thing about being on blue team, is you can continually grab those small golems, and... A lot of times the jungler doesn't want to grab those small golems, especially on blue side, because they're really out of the way for ganks. Um, and they take a long time to kill. It's a lot more efficient for a jungler to just grab the creeps in this general area right here and then gank mid and top and then just go straight to bottom to gank rather than going for those small golems. And now, Izuki here, he's going to go ahead and get... Oh, man, he almost got a taunt, but that was a nice flash. Reginald played that so very well. And he's going to go in here and do as much damage as possible to try and turn this fight around. The odd one getting extremely low from this. Is he going to fall there? It's going to be very hard to say if that can actually work out for him, but High had a great flash. Yozuki is able to clean up the 
Godwin now with Reginald having exactly no mana and gets taunted now. That was an amazing play. Reginald is going to fall down here. I don't think he's actually going to get the kill. He wants to do as much damage as possible. Can he get his ultimate up? Yeah, okay, he will get it if he... Oh, no, he has no ulti, I guess. So, uh, so yeah, if he had his ultimate up, he would have potentially gotten that kill onto Heil. But not going to be the case here. That is unfortunate. That was a pretty nasty little uh, counter gank up on the top lane. So far, though, we are sitting at... Uh, that was the first two kills for Team Orb. And so... I'm curious if that's going to really turn around there. So even 12.4 to 12.4, this is a very, very close game. And it's going to come down to maybe some team fight action around the dragon area. How is Cassidy farming, by the way? That is a good thing to take a look at. 57 to 71. So he is a little bit lower than Kale, but at this point, I'd say it's actually not that bad because he does have that go per five item. So he's uh, he's in a pretty decent position. And there's a nice little bit of damage coming in. Kaox still has to worry about her using her ultimate to kind of bait that out. Now getting exhausted, going to be really hard to actually see what's going on. And here comes the cat, or sorry, the uh, ultimate. And there's an ultimate from Cass as well. Or sorry, from uh, from Reginald. Oh my god, Chaos actually was able to pick that up. And now with the odd one coming in here, he's going to go for the kill. Doesn't actually make it happen. Um, man, I'm calling everyone the wrong names here. In any case, though, um, I, I was expecting some kills on that bottom lane once the Shin came in. But Yuzuki wasn't able to actually make that happen. So Chaos was cleaning that one up. That was actually a really good snipe. I didn't see their health going down that far, but uh, he had just enough damage to clean that up, and that's going to be an extra kill for him, evening things up here a little bit more, and giving them now the advantage based on the fact that they're out farming these guys. And Reginald here really shoving out this lane as much as possible, trying to force this Shen to lose as many creeps as he can while he is gone. So that's the one thing you want to do is if your top laner leaves to go gank on the lane and there's nothing you can do to actually get there and help out, you want to force them to lose as much as possible. Looks like Yuzuki just barely misses out on getting that taunt off on Reginald. We'll take a little bit of poke, but it really doesn't actually affect him that much. His shield is so strong at this point that it's not that big of a deal. And now Cassidy in a good position. If Reginald had continued to chase down, he would have been jumped onto from the other side. And so Cassidy is doing what he can to actually roam around at this point uh, hasn't been successful with it just yet but there are going to be a lot of opportunities in the game and wow what a great ulti from Dyrus stopping all of that damage from Nubby Pooh Bear from happening as that could have potentially um, really wrecked him hard there and I don't think it necessarily would have gotten the kill but uh, either way, I mean, it was it was a good it was a good play. There's no other reason to really use that ulti in his case until team fights happen. They could have a potential dragon fight before his ulti comes up, but it's going to be hard to say. And I think it's going to really determine, or it's going to be determined by if there's kills on bottom lane as to whether we're going to see a dragon fight kind of uh, jump out at this point. Now the odd one's gonna have to be careful. I, it doesn't seem like he knows about this, but high is coming around as well as the bottom lane. So Nian and uh, everyone else is going in here to try and steal this blue buff. In fact, they they don't actually get it, but they do stop him at least temporarily from grabbing that. And it seems like he's gonna be perfectly fine to pick that up at this point. And so it looks like uh, Darius is not really interested in grabbing that blue buff. He's gonna go ahead and let the odd one pick that up so that he has the reduced cooldown on his ultimate and ability to just kind of stay in the jungles as long as possible. And Nubby Pooh Bear now gonna be kind of roaming around, potentially going for a kill. Oh no, 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 he's just warding. Okay, so he's gonna be warding. Um, I, wasn't, I wasn't sure if he was gonna go ahead and try and steal some jungle creeps or what. But uh, that, that's a good ward there. You're going to be able to see when Odwin is there. Um, on the other hand, though, Odwin is going to be going for a bush gank onto the bottom lane here. Let's see if that is effective or not. There are no wards, so they won't actually see if he is coming in at this point or not. So he's just going to kind of hang out here and be in a good position. But with Graves kind of back, I guess that he... He probably is assuming they went back to base, so he's just gonna he's just gonna go back and buy himself some items. What is he actually gonna pick up here? So now having that wriggles, it's gonna make it easy for him to grab that dragon if they do decide to start on it. Nia now, oh my god, look at that shield coming in here. Comes a Shin, and is it gonna be effective? Especially special getting jumped onto. There is no way he's getting out of that. That's four people. And like I said, it's gonna be determined by what happens on bottom lane, whether or not this dragon gets taken out. And in this case, with a special down, that is gonna be a free dragon for them. And looks like 
Um, I don't know if Reginald was trying to assist Darius with getting a kill onto mid lane or what, but here comes the fight. Looks like Darius wants to stop this. Here is the odd one using his ultimate. Going to be jumping in onto that, uh, into the graves, I guess, and not able to grab the kill yet. Keox really low, so he has to stay on the other side of the wall and do as much damage as possible from that position. But Nebby Poop Bear knows this. He jumps over, grabs a kill on a Keox, and that's going to be sick. Now Keox going to fall as well. Looks like the support grabs it, and they are going to be able to still turn around and grab that dragon and safely the only one still alive here in this situation is the odd one that was kind of a bad play on their part i feel like they should have just given away that dragon um you know it's not always something you want to do or at least they could have waited a little bit longer until they had started on the dragon and potentially had the odd one jump in there and steal that and then go for the fight once they were a little bit lower but um either way it looks like um wait did i see a tower die okay I don't know what's going on. I'm just hearing noises all over the place. But anyways, they grabbed that dragon. Uh, I think that was a Pulse Fire Ezreal skin talking to me. I was like, what the hell happened? Oh, yeah, they did kill the top turret. Okay, so I am retarded. Um, I, like, I swear, a turret died or something. For some reason, I kept scrolling up there and didn't see it. Um, anyway, so they did take out the top turret. That's pretty much the best thing you can do if you lose the dragon is to pick up that top turret. And so they were able to do that. Pooh Bear is going to be grabbing this blue buff. He's in a decent position right now since he got the uh, gold per five item that's helping him out. He hasn't really fallen down that much. In fact, he's only 10 CS behind this point. Darius did his best to really shut that down as much as possible, but just wasn't able to. Nubby Pooh Bear played this very well and was able to continually farm up. And, and that's something that's really hard to do, especially against a champion such as Kel, whenever you are a melee champion like that. And what do we have going on here? Looks like Darius coming in onto Yazuki. I doubt they're going to get any kind of kill on him. He's easily able to get away from that, especially with High coming in there. If they decided to chase that, he would have just gotten knocked away, knocked up, and been good to go. How tanky is this guy? Let's see. He's going for Wit's End. So he actually went for damage first. And that is going to also give him the Magic Resist to help out. Obviously, uh, playing against Reginald in the top lane, that's pretty much what he needs to lane against that guy. And on the bottom, there's a little bit of action coming in here. Nian getting a nice uh, knockup, or sorry, I should say, uh, special getting a nice knockup, allowing Chaos to grab the kill on him, but not before jumping into the turret himself and dying. So that's just a one for one trade at that point. And right now, Blue Team actually has pulled ahead. Orb is doing really well. Got themselves a three kill lead, and it's not a huge gold advantage, but it's still an advantage nonetheless. Now with High kind of in the back there, looks like he's in sort of a bad position, but with the Shen, he is in there to make something happen. Reginald is going to fall here. There's no way he's going to get out of that fight, and that is another kill for W. Pooh Bear. Now going to be jumping on to the odd one potentially. Don't think they're actually going to be able to dive that unless he stays in. I'm not sure if he's going to plan on staying in or, or just give that tower up. Uh, it's going to be hard for him to actually defend that other than just cue those creeps. Because if he does get taunted and jumped onto with silence, it's going to be hard for him to deal with that. So if they wait for one more creep wave, um, I don't know. I think they'll be okay. Okay, it looks like Chaos is coming back. Um, no blue buff for them to steal, so they're just going to hang out. Look for, oh, Chaos, you scary mofo. I think he kind of had an idea that they were going to be there, so he jumped over the wall. If he had walked into that bush, he would have been taken down so quickly. So they may have a timer on this blue buff and they're just waiting for it. Either that or they're just looking for someone to kind of walk in and make the mistake. Oh, especially... Okay, so there it is. There is the ward. They're able to clean up that ward even without any kind of Oracle's vision because they all attacked at the same time. That is the unfortunate part about that. Oh, man, they took out another one. That is the, That has got to be so annoying. They're just... They're just cleaning up all these wards. Oh, and they're just ward baiting this thing to death. And now with Lemon getting really low, is he going to use his ultimate on himself? He could go ahead and bait this down. It looks like they're not able to get the one more last auto attack. Special cleans that up, no problem. Now Reginald in here getting extremely low. He will be falling now. Nian gets that kill. Now Special gets to a point to where he's probably going to fall as well. Nice shield. Doesn't save him for a little bit longer. He does stay alive. New Pair uh, is able to pick up that kill. And the ultimate from Reginald gets him pretty low as well. High. Cleaning up the odd one, and so far that is a 3 for 2 trade. Doesn't look like Nobu Pooh Bear can clean up Chaos though. He got out of there just in time to make it safely, but looks like they will be losing their blue buff. So overall, they lost uh, one extra person and a blue buff. Looks like Orb is doing a great job against TSM at this point. So TSM is going to have to start making some really good plays if they want to come back into this game. Especially having lost that dragon as well. They're going to uh, see this gold advantage kind of dipping a little bit higher in the favor of Orb. And if they can pick up some turrets, that's going to help out even more as well. Um, let's see. There is no one on bottom lane yet, so they might be able to actually clean up this turret. They're going to have to be quick about it. They've got a decent amount of damage here with Yuzuki. 
And I don't think the creeps are going to be alive long enough for them to clean it up completely. But, nope, nope, I was wrong. They're just going to tank it. Yeah, they, they, they have enough damage. So, um, it was, there's plenty of time to go ahead and clean up that turret. So, that's going to put it at a one-to-one -one turret advantage. Overall, giving them the advantage from having that dragon as well, though. With the mid turret down, a little bit below half HP. They might be able to take that up soon. Reginald... Oh man, he's gonna have to be careful with Nubby Pooh Bear in a really good position here. He's got that blue buff. Of course, he has no mana. He needs to let that kind of build itself back up at this point. He does have a Rod of Ages, so he is fairly tanky. It's gonna be harder for them to clean up Casting right away if he does jump into those fights. He decided not to go for that completely squishy build, and it's gonna allow him to have that extra mana for those ultimates to kind of rack those up and start doing extra damage. Darius is going to be farming up at the top lane here. I think they might actually go ahead and do a full switch and put Reginald at the mid. Uh, does look like that's what he's done. He's going to sit there in the mid and farm up those creeps while Darius shoves down that top lane, doing what he does best, playing that top lane and uh, really feeling the pressure on these uh, turrets. So he, if he can ward this up, let's see. Let's see, did he... Oh, actually, he didn't even grab any. So he's going to have that Infinity Edge very soon. You notice he's already got his BF Sword and Pickaxe. Just needs about, what is it, like 1350 gold, I believe? And then he can have himself an Infinity Edge. So uh, he's about halfway there. A little bit more and he'll get that ready to go. But he will be grouping back up with the team at this point. It looks like they want to defend this mid-turret. And he doesn't feel safe pushing this any further with no wards. Systems upgraded. Systems upgraded. So that does mean that we have level 11 Chaos. And he's going to have a little bit more damage on that ultimate in this next team fight. Will it be enough, though? I'm not sure. These guys are quite tanky and very scary at this point. Hi is so, so disruptive in these team fights once he lands his knockup. And he's got an Oracle, so he can jump in there and take out Invision. Oh my god, this is going to be really bad for Rick Special. He gets knocked up, and he's going to be in a really bad position. There's ultimate going off on two different people, and Chaos is going to be spinning up his teammates with that attack. And Dyrus is going to take down Elimination. And so we're in a really good position here for them to grab Dragon. That's going to be able to even up that, uh, that kind of global gold advantage for them. Can they go ahead and uh, not only take advantage of this Dragon, but can they take out that bottom turret? If they can shove it out, they might be able to. Unfortunately, they weren't able to take out the Oracles, but that's okay as well. Uh, since they did not actually lose their own, Special kind of got caught there, but they were all in position to clean it up. And they were able to kill two people there. So that, that was a good play for them overall. Darius, I think, should be able to clean up this turret. Uh, High is coming around to try and do some. Oh, and he flashed over the wall to do some work on a Dyrus. Dyrus in a really bad position, having to use his freaking ult to uh, jump out of there. Or, sorry, his flash to get out of there. All he needs is there's a silence, and it looks like High is going to be able to jump on top of him. There is the ignite. And oh man, this is really bad. Dyrus has no way to get out of that one alive. And so he used everything that he had. Still wasn't enough to get out of there. Overall, that was really sick play by, um, by High. Did High actually use his flash? Or did he, did he just W over to a minion? I'm not sure. Uh, let's take a look. Yeah, yeah, I think, yeah, okay, so he did flash over. I was pretty sure he flashed, but, because uh, I don't think you have enough range to jump to a minion there. If he did, though, that would have been pretty sweet. So it looked like they're actually going to take out that mid turret, but with the great play by that Alistar, that's going to allow them to do some damage to this mid turret. Reginald coming in there to clean up those creeps, going to make sure that they don't actually do any damage to that turret, and he shoves that out, no problem. But, uh, looks like, looks like, uh, let's see, the odd one, he took his own red. So it's good they don't lose that to anyone. And a little bit of ward clear from high here. They uh, they just put down that ward. Oh, he, okay. I thought he was going to miss that. But here we go. It's special. He's going to go ahead and try and knock him up a little bit. Doesn't matter. He's going to clean that up. No problem. <laughs> That's funny. So he went ahead and hit the hit the Baron, forcing High to take some damage, and he puts another ward down. Anyways, they probably don't know. Okay, the blue team. They're actually they're actually uh, pinging that. They're like, hey man, he, you know he's going to put another ward down there, right? But uh, I guess he's not going to take the risk of actually going back up there because potentially. He, he doesn't know this, but I mean, they could they could be like right here jumping over the wall and doing some work on these guys, and he wouldn't have no idea. And then he would lose those oracles and he'd be in really bad position, so not good stuff. All right, so we're just kind of waiting around. It is at the 23 minute mark. We do probably have a Baron fight coming up very soon, and that's kind of why we're seeing the um, you know the the Vision fighting in that area because both teams know that it's it's getting down to the wire at that point for that. We go high came in to clean up that ward yet again. And they have no vision right now at this point. 
of anyone on the map other than, I guess, Yazuki uh, maybe? Well, they don't have any vision, so I don't know where everyone's at. They're gonna go ahead and clean up this blue buff for Reginald. That way in the next fight, he can do as much as possible without running out of his mana until he dies. Okay, so I think they are uh, fairly aware that they're not gonna have to worry about losing Baron. That's why they haven't really ran over there in that direction just yet. Chaos taking a little bit of damage from the chart. He was trying to clean that up. Uh, Darius able to finally clean it up. And there's a little bit of poke damage coming in. Chaos gonna be sitting there with his Qs, taking their life just a little bit lower, but they need to be careful. There comes, you no, know, no, 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 this is really bad. And Pooh Bear uh, gets Darius really low. Nice ultimate from Janna, but still not enough to actually uh, save their lives there. And they have no one low enough to really clean them up at this point. And I think they're all gonna be on the run. TSM could get aced here and lose the Baron if they don't get away fast enough. Nice little tornado and a missed taunt is not gonna help out, but Reginald still falls as he's just not fast enough to get away at that point. Here comes the ultimate. Will Chaos go down? Looks like shut down by Nian, and this is really, really terrible position for TSM to be in. They lost three people. They're going to lose this turret as well, and they might be in a position to actually lose the game very soon. So, special now. Oh, okay. Looks like uh, looks like uh, Yuzuki was saying, "Hey, man, go for this kill," but Nian was not aware of that. So maybe uh, kind of a hasty call on his part. Either way, though, they're going to be able to grab this turret. And potentially the inhibitor, as you still got 15 seconds on both Chaos and Reginald, both damage dealers down at this point. And so uh, that is just, oh man, that's terrible. Really bad, um, really bad that Darius was getting caught there by, um, by Nubby Pooh Bear. Overall, they just didn't have the ward on the other side to see that he was sitting there. That's the, that's the point at which Kassadin is just able to do really big work. If he can jump over the walls and do Kassadin things, as I like to call it jumping out of bushes and wrecking people to half HP in one you know, nice little combo without actually getting caught and dying yourself. And uh, that, that's what's really gonna kind of turn around these fights. And here he comes, he's just waiting around the corner for a, for like a time to actually do some work. And uh, let's see, Darius is gonna have to be a little bit more careful uh, staying away from those corners without the vision because with Nubby Pooh Bear in a position now to do so much damage. He almost has a death cap built up. He's already got 213 AP. Once he grabs that death cap, he's going to have so much more, in fact. And they've lost about 5k gold. Well, I guess that's 4k gold advantage. They're almost at 37k. High is continuing to clean up this ward advantage that they were looking to have. So TSM is in the dark right now. And they have no idea what's going on. They can potentially... Okay, well, there's one last ward there. So they know that uh, there is a potential that Orb is going to be going for that Baron, but they have no idea if they're actually going for it just yet. Um, well, nope, they do know that they're not going to go for it because they have this Vision Ward right here. So they know that Yazuki is going to the bottom lane and going to be cleaning up this set of creeps. Of course, he is close enough that he can just sit there and ultimate back up to the mid lane if necessary, and that way he can get into the fight when needed. So this is really coming down to these really clutch team fights that TSM has been losing at this point. They they really just can't uh, get a grasp on this uh, Graves to take him out or on the Cassidy. They have a lot of pill and a lot of a lot of uh, pushback. So the the slow coming in from. Lemon is able to kind of keep them from chasing as well as the fact that she can knock them up and use her ultimate on any target that gets focused down. High is able to jump in there and do his, you know, mini Malphite ult thing. And then uh, they just have so much potential here. And so it's, it's just really difficult for TSM to actually get in there and do true, uh, you know, some true fights that they, they can't sit there and do the, their full damage potential onto people because of all that poke. Or not poke, but um, I guess peel is what I should say. And the newbie Pooh Bear, he's uh, he, he's not really getting shut down. They don't have the stun bench. Uh, that's that's actually a good way to put it. They don't have the stun bench. They have no stuns. They've got a fear, which takes a little while to actually activate. So their only real CC is Janna's knockup, I guess, and a fear that's hard to activate instantly. So it's really hard to actually shut these guys down at this point with this team comp. And they, they got a very high damage team comp, but as the game goes on, Chaos is going to start to fall off as Ezreal does not really carry anywhere near as much as Graves into the late game. Uh, he can if he gets pretty fed, but that's just any champion at that point. And he is even with Graves, so Graves is getting, look at this, Graves has already got Bloodthirster, Phantom Dancer, and the Last Whisper. He's got so much more damage potential than Chaos right now at this, at this situation. 
Now, the one good thing I will say is that Chaos synergizes really well with his team. He can throw down his W on top of both Dyrus and the other one. But here we go. Here's a full team fight. Reginald kind of gets jumped on. Going to use that ultimate there to help him stop uh, taking a little bit of damage. And so he will die to Orb Nian. And going to use his ultimate. Not able to clean anyone up there, unfortunately. And this is so far is two people dead on TSM. And they got cast in extremely low, but not enough to actually clean him up. And that's the thing. There's a double kill for the Shin. And four people dead. And so the odd one, the only one alive. I don't think TSM can come back from this point on. They just cannot kill anyone. I mean, they uh, they go ahead and they surrender. That's going to be uh, the game going to them. I don't know if they're going to do another scrim or if this is just kind of a one... Uh, a one-off scrim, but either way, that was a great game played by Orb, uh, and so really early on, they kind of had it evened up, but later on in the team fights, they just um, they just really outplayed TSM. They had a better overall team comp, I feel like, and it worked out in their advantage. So thank you guys for watching the video, and make sure you subscribe so you can see when I put out the next ones. I'll see you around next time. Scooby Cheese, peace out.